in the streets around Scotland Yard. The man who'd revelled in his nickname Yates of the Yard seemed so determined to battle on, sideswiping, growing calls for his resignation. Break, guys. But such is the frantic pace of this ever-deepening crisis. Within hours, the Met's assistant commissioner decided to follow his boss and fall on his sword. It is a matter of great personal regret that those potentially affected by phone hacking were not dealt with appropriately. Sadly, there continues to be a huge amount of inaccurate, ill-informed and on occasions downright malicious gossip being published about me personally. I have acted with complete integrity and my conscience is clear. It's hard to overstate the seriousness of the crisis now engulfing the country's biggest police force. Allegations of a botched phone hacking investigation and even corruption have cost two of its most senior officers their jobs. Earlier, members of the Metropolitan Police Authority's Professional Standards Committee had decided there was enough evidence to suspend Assistant Commissioner Yates. But now he's decided to go, attention is turning increasingly towards the political. First, the London Mayor, a man who famously branded those fresh hacking allegations as codswallop. You have to go on the advice you're given by senior police officers. And the advice I was getting was that there was, was, that there was nothing new and... You can see the consequences of that bad advice today. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? But in question after question, the mayor was left verbally battered and bruised. And that's why we're having this investigation. Yes, Fiona. After the mayor, it was the turn of the Home Secretary to face the heat. Assurances of new, more transparent procedures at the Met did nothing to temper her critics in the Commons. The judgment of the Met has been called into serious question by appointing Neil Wallace, but so has the judgment of the Prime Minister by appointing Neil Wallace's boss, Andy Coulson. People will look at this and think it is one rule for the police and one for the Prime Minister. So Assistant Commissioner John Yates has now gone, but absolutely no one believes he'll be the last casualty of the phone hacking crisis.